This is the statin choice and aspirin choice decision aid. Let's get started. The decision aid starts by looking at the patient's current risk. This could be already brought in by your medical record or you may have to enter some information. I am entering the information now for a 65 year old woman with diabetes who has a blood pressure that is uh, well controlled and uh, a relatively decent uh, good cholesterol and I'm going to press here on current risk to see what her 10-year uh, coronary risk is in this case it is 11 percent that way I will present this to a patient is I would say uh, Mrs. Jones uh, here is a room with a hundred people just like you with your same risk factors for heart disease in this room 89 people will not have a heart attack in the next 10 years and 11 will and I do not know if you're one of the green ones or one of the orange ones. Now, to see what we can do about it, you can click on the intervention and select an intervention, in this case, standard dose statins. You can see on the panel on the right that uh, this has estimated the benefit of statin using uh, randomized controlled trial data. Here, I will tell the patient, as you can see, if, I, if we were to give the statins to at least 100 people like you, the 89 people that were not destined to have heart attack would receive medication or take medication every day for the next 10 years with no benefit. Also notice that there are 8 people that will take the medicine and despite taking the medicine regularly will have a heart attack within the next 10 years. 3 people who were destined to have a heart attack in that period of time will avoid the heart attack because they took the medicine. Again, I do not know if you're one of the green ones, one of the blue ones or one of the orange ones. If the patient were interested at this point in taking statins, we can click on the issues area and identify what are the issues about taking statins on a daily basis, like the price tag, uh, the burden of treatment, other benefits, as well as the side effects. This can be reviewed with the patient. If the patient decides to proceed, one could write some notes to the patient in this area that will be included in a summary of the consultation which can be printed as a PDF or emailed to the patient using the share button on the right. If you want to find this decision aid which is freely available it is at statindecisionaid.mayoclinic.org as you can see at the top of the screen. The JAMA Network